Hey, welcome everyone. This is a quick tutorial on creating a dash ability and a knockback ability. If you haven't done so already, you're going to want to set up your gameplay ability system for your project. Um, that includes enabling these two plugins and some other, like adding some other code snippets. Um, if you haven't done that already, please watch my first video. I'll leave a link to it in the description to help you get all set up. Okay, so first off, let's create a ability system component on our player character here. Um, go. And then on begin play, we're going to want to give our player the dash ability. So I'll just make a variable for it. Fix up the spacing. Okay. Now, when we press, I'm just going to make it like left alt. You can obviously make like an action map a mapping for this, um, however you want, but I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. We're going to want to activate ability by class and Thing, pass in the dash ability. Okay, cool. So let's create a new folder here. Call it, oh, it's going to be of type gameplay ability, of course. Okay. And we'll call it root motion base because whether it's a dash or a knockback all it's doing is applying some sort of like force to your character in a direction with a certain strength so yeah we can just make make a base class for it and the dash and knockback will be children of this class okay so we're going to make two variables we need strength it's going to be float and direction my O key is messed up. This is going to be a type vector. First, we're going to commit the ability. Then, if it fails, we'll want to cancel the ability. Because it might be on cooldown or a cost or whatever you want. We're not going to cover that in this video, but just kind of in case you want it. <clears throat> Next, we'll apply root motion constant force. All right, and we're going to pass in strength here, direction there. All right, and then set velocity on finish. This is what restores your character back to like your regular speed. So we need to go get that. So get actor from, where is it? There we go, this one, and then we're gonna get velocity. And yep, that's all we need to do. Cool. And then finally on finish, we'll call, finish, what is it, end ability? Yep, there we go. All right, so from this base class, we can go ahead and make a new class. We'll call it, uh, well, it's gonna be of type Root motion base. It's going to be a dash. And we want our dash to go in the direction that we're currently moving. So we're going to get avatar. Get avatar from actor info. Then we'll get velocity. I'm going to normalize it. So that way there's no. Like, so it's just a unit vector basically. Uh, just gives us a direction, not like how fast we're going. Um, and then finally, we're gonna do set direction, just like that. And yeah, now if we wanna test it out, we have to assign this to our dash ability and hope this works. Oh, we actually also need to 
pass in a strength. I'm going to pass in 1500. Let's test it out. So I'm going to press left alt and you can see I dash forward. Now, obviously this looks pretty weird. It looks like you're like sliding around and that's simply because we're just like doing, we're not triggering an animation. Um, so if you want this to look a little better, you would basically play a montage of like your character dashing or something like that. And you could do that in, you know, in here, play montage and wait, whatever you want to do. Now for the knockback, it's going to be pretty similar. Duplicate that, call it knockback. And here, instead of getting our velocity, we're going to want to get forward vector. And we want to we want the character to go backwards, right? So we need to multiply this by negative one to make it so we get basically the the backward vector, right? And we want our character to go up as well. So we need to get up vector, and we're gonna multiply this by scalar as well. And this is gonna determine how far up we want to go. So we'll, let's call this knock up strength. And here it's a scalar, so we can make this, let's say, oh, this should just be zero. Oops. Zero to one. So you could just do that. And I'll, I'll make it point two. And finally, we want to add these two together. Because now we're going to knock them backward and up. Finally, we will set that as our direction. And let's test it out. Okay, I'm going to create a new keyboard event and I'm going to bind it to my one button. Obviously, you wouldn't want to actually let your character knock themselves back. But I'm just going to show you how you would actually knock back your character or just enemies, whatever. You would do give ability and activate once. This is how you would basically knock people back. Um, because knockbacks aren't abilities that players are really going to want to activate manually, like dashes, right? That Knockbacks are more like things that happen as a result of other abilities or actions, which is why you want to just call this function. It gives them the knockback ability, calls it, and that's the end of it. So you're, you're going to basically want to do this inside some other abilities. So say if you hit someone, they take damage, and then you do this little part to knock them back. Okay. So now let's just set this to our knockback ability, and let's test it out. I'm going to press 1. See, I got knocked back. Cool. All right, well, that pretty much concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next. Um, definitely stick around because I'm, I'll am i be doing some videos on topics that some of my subscribers have suggested. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one.